join me Mondays at noon to start your Bye. feeling up. Let's tap into the universal energy that connects us all. Synchronicity, talk radio for your mind, body, and soul. Mondays at noon on CITR 101.9 FM, Vancouver. Hello and welcome to Synchronicity Talk Radio for your mind, body, and soul. I'm your host, Marie Bernard, and today, well, first of all, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day, and we have a very special guest on the show. I've actually been looking forward to this interview for quite a while, basically uh, since I first read her book. Uh, I'm talking today with... Cindy Liu, she's the author of The Four Man Plan, A Romantic Science. So, welcome to the show, Cindy Liu. Thank you, Marie. I'm excited to talk to you, too. Yay. And you have, uh, well, your website is thefourmanplan.com, and you have a Facebook group. Yes, it's closed, though. That's for active four-man Yes. Well, I, I'm not an act. Yeah. So... Exactly. Well, I've, I've read the book. I've done, uh, I'll, I'll give a little bit of background about what happened is over the summer, I had this uh, passionate slash dramatic love affair and um, I broke up with him. We broke up in September and I was on Facebook basically boohooing about it and some woman was like, oh, you need to read this book. And I was already sort of on the bandwagon for dating multiple guys. Um, which I, I love. I'm a huge advocate of that. Um, but yeah, your book was awesome. And, and so that's how I discovered it. And uh, word of mouth, it's really getting around a lot because people who are who have read the book and have, have tried it out are really experiencing great things. Germany and to my shock it is working pretty much everywhere awesome well and so tell us you you sucked at dating oh and I got to put this out first a little bit of a disclaimer today uh, listener discretion is advised uh, we're gonna try and keep it we're gonna try and keep it clean but we've got two potty mouths here on the phone over sharers I'm a bit of an over sharer as well so um, yeah, but listener discretion is advised, and uh, if you want to get on the air and ask Cindy Lou a question, the number is 604-822-2487, that's 604-822-2487, um, but yeah, so tell us a little bit about your background and, and how you created the four-man plan. Okay, well, um, I'm so glad this is the spiritual show because I can really talk about um, my journey a little bit with, with the unexpected wonderfulness of following your heart and experiencing a little pain and lifting yourself out of it um, in two ways. One was that I, I would, I've been an actress for 20 years. Um, my career was not bad. A lot of people would say it was quite good, but I always found myself playing small roles and in, in large venues, uh, the Oregon Shakespeare Festival being a theater that I worked at, and then in multiple roles on television. And um, I started feeling like that wasn't right for me, and I needed more, and I needed to express myself more. Um, so I created a one-woman show, and the topic of it was a lark based on a one-woman show class that I took. I, I gave the people there, some ideas that I had, and when I talked about the four-man plan, which is something that I did for myself um, to heal myself through my love tragedies and dating disasters, everybody leaned forward and wanted to hear more about that, so I knew I had something there. I created the show in an attempt to um, feel satisfied in my acting career, but something else was completely born in that I in really enjoyed creating material and performing that. And after the first workshop version, 
the women in the audience came up to me and said, we need the book because now we've heard enough to know that we want to follow the plan. And at that time, there was no book. Um, so when I put up the full version of the show four months later, I was also able, through the help of my uh, director and guide, Paul Link, who asked all the right questions, create a 99-page self-published version of the book along with the 75-minute show. Um, from that, I had several surprising offers. Uh, one of them was a television show, and another one was a book agent, and also got my wonderful manager out of it. So out of taking this sort of leap of faith um, and gathering a lot of this material from the more spiritual side of me, I wish I could say that uh, it was all my own intellect, but it was a mixture of that a metaphor that I could wrap my brain around, and um, using what I had always done, which is for some reason I was always the woman that people came to for advice about their love life, even though mine was nothing to really <clears throat> be hold up as an example. For some reason I could always give people great advice. So that all came together, and I ended up being published uh, by Random House, and it's transformed my life into something that I feel expresses my purpose completely, which is that I love to help women find their true selves and empower themselves through their femininity and their intelligence and their analytical minds um, and embrace a world of men and love in an entirely different way while accepting their full commitment to the creation of their experience, which is what we're all doing. And most importantly, making it fun. Yay. Well, now, who this book originally was intended for women, but who is benefiting from it right now? Uh, it, mostly it's women. Um, I do have some men. The, the last radio interview I did, did with, a, with a single man and a married man, actually, but he was interested in the four woman plan. And for a while, I toyed with different versions of the plan. I thought about a version for uh, younger women. I thought about a version for maybe um, you know gay men or or men, straight men. But I realized that. The principles of the four-man plan are so universal that it really requires very small tweaks. So girls as young as 15, 16 who are just beginning to explore the world of men, um, you know, I can advise just to obviously, for me, I'd rather they not be physically intimate with any of the men in order since they're, you know, working with a small sample size generally within their school. Um, that's the limitation I put on those girls. And, uh, and they're also not looking for a husband. You know, they're just looking for an experience with the opposite sex in which they can grow and learn about themselves and how they relate to men. With men, the adjustment is that I tell the men it's fine because if a man is going to multiple date anyway, he may as well have a structure to it. And what I do to help keep the women that he's dating sane, I suggest not only that he tells them that they're dating that he's dating other women, which is uh, not that well received by women um, as much as we appreciate honesty. We don't really know how to handle that. So I also just suggest that a man doing the plan tell each woman about the four-man plan. So as he enters her into his graph, she enters mm -hmm. him into her graph. Wonderful. And now I've got to say, the four-man plan, the title's a little bit deceptive because it's actually broken down even smaller to up to 16 men. And at the height of my dating shenanigans, I, the, the, the most I was able to juggle was nine guys. And at one point, I think I kissed, I think I kissed nine guys in one week and I started to get chaplets because it was winter. I went to the doctor twice in fear that I had some awful kissing cootie disease. She assured me I was fine, but I mean, it was a lot to juggle. How do you manage 16 guys? Well, what the 16 is because a quarter man, right, which you know is four whole men, which can break it broken down to quarter men, because so many people are online dating and they're being winked at and, and you're shooting arrows. I mean, I don't even know all the technology of just sh expressing a little bit of interest. Um, that quarter man is really for the guys that 
um, that you've shown some interest in or they have shown interest in you and they have a way to contact you and you haven't really gone on more than one date or have the man. So uh, having the man meaning that you, you've told them that you're seeing other men. So um, I would say that the 16 is really like, let's say you go online and all of a sudden you're receiving all of this interest. It's really a way to limit you to 16 men. Uh, the, you know, you can't go over in the graph. Oh, okay. Become more serious as you start having the man start kissing these guys. They're, the space they take up in your graph um, enlarges to the point where you can only have two or three or four. Okay, so really kissing nine guys in a week, I was doing m more than I should have been if I had been, this was before I read the book. See, if you and I were in private coaching, I would have had you step it down just a little bit or had you reevaluate the value of each man within your graph so that you could make choices. Oh, but it, I mean, it's it was fun. <laughs> oh, sure, you're like the bachelorette, but in real life, right? Yeah, and I wasn't, it wasn't, we do now. We do have The Bachelorette. It's just coming to Canada. And now that I have a boyfriend, I can't be on the show. Otherwise, I totally would be throwing my hat into the ring. It, it's just been announced. Candy. But, and and that, that's really what the experience is. It's a way for women to date multiple men, try to pick one instead of instead of going one at a time with the delusion of this is the one, this is the one, this is the one, this is the one, which is, it is sort of delusional. You probably will have to go through several before you find one that's really right. So why spend six months or a year or nine months or for you, you know, a fun summer, which is fine. Oh, I, well, there was the summer and I was still dating other guys while I was with him. And, um... He would be your two and a quarter if you had been on the plane at the time. Yeah, I counted. When I sort of, because I broke up with him and then we did sort of get back together and try again. And so I was sort of a little bit doing the plan, like in the back of my mind. He was my two and a quarter and I was trying not to take on too many guys just because it's, it's exhausting to have too many guys. Well, and what I tell people too when they say, you know, I don't have time for all of these men, um, I don't have time to date, I, I have them consider, you know, what you're also doing. For us single gals, you know, uh, we really know how to fill our lives with friends and our careers and all of our interests and hobbies. And really what I, it, the format plan asks each woman is, to start making space for a real relationship, you know, and when you are in a real relationship, you know it's always, oh, Probably a phone call a day, um, it's at least one whole day on the weekend and two more, you know, maybe one or two more get-togethers during the week and that's enough to do the four-man plan and that's pretty much what you need to have a relationship. So as women say, like, I can, I can't handle it, it's like, well, do what you can but with your eye on growing that space in your life for your love life because we have to stretch out that space first before you can put a man in or else that's going to be your first issue in your relationship is, oh my gosh, I don't have enough time for him or suddenly I don't pay any attention to my friends or my career. You know, it's creating that balance. Wonderful. Well, Cindy, it's already time for a break, so I'll put you on hold here. So we're speaking right now with Cindy Liu. She is the author of The Four Man Plan, A Romantic Science. You can find her at thefourmanplan.com. I am your host, Marie Bernard. This is Synchronicity Talk Radio for your mind, body, and soul. And you might be listening in Vancouver at CITR 101.9 FM or online at CITR.ca, CosmicDimensions.com, EmpowerRadio.com, or on the Co-Creator Network. We'll be back with more synchronicity in a moment.